So this building is near um, Yates, and I've just noticed there's a sign that says, or an engraving, Feldman's Arcade. Now, did this building used to be an arcade back in its day? And welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to have a bit of a look uh, just along the uh, the seafront because the Christmas by the Sea, um, which is starting on the 15th of November, is already starting to be built. So it's quite exciting times really. There's all sorts of attractions and themes which is going to be happening uh, for the Christmas by the Sea. So we're going to have a look and just uh, go through exactly what to expect. First thing we notice is the uh, the huge octopus, which is uh, occupying Blackpool Tower. And uh, I came a few days ago and I couldn't see him, but now he certainly appeared for the uh, the monster hunt. And uh, there he is with all these uh, tentacles and his eyes. Look at that. And here we are. So you can see there's a huge cordon now, all fenced off in preparations for the uh, the Christmas market, which is going ahead on uh, November the uh, 15th. So there's gonna be all sorts of uh, displays and attractions um, in regards to the uh, the Christmas market. So it's only, you know, a couple of weeks away, you know, the odd day, a couple of weeks away. And like I said, there's all sorts uh, gonna be sort of held here. Uh, there's gonna be a free uh, ice skating ring. I think there's one last year, so that's coming back. The, uh, the ice skating ring, uh, there's going to be um, snow simulations, there's also going to be um, a, a themed ride including a hundred foot snow slide, how amazing is that? Uh, also the Star Flyer which stretches 196 feet tall, so you certainly wouldn't get me on that. But yeah, so there's all sorts of, uh, like I said, things coming to this Christmas market, let alone all the fantastic stalls you know, the, uh, the Christmas food, the drinks. So yeah, we're going to have a, a little bit, because I think we can see the, uh, the star flyer. So let's go and have a, a closer look. So yes, the star flyer has returned. It's just behind that cordon on this huge, long wheel base lorry. And there it is. So let me know in the comments, are you going to be having a bit of a go on the, uh, the star flyer? Let's look at that. So that's all going to start getting erected. Um, very very soon and uh, you can see it's all cordoned off all around uh, the, uh, the sky dance look at this so it's all it's all happening uh, like it's still a couple of weeks ago so it just shows how much effort um, is needed to go into this um, or to arrange the uh, the Christmas markets so yeah we'll uh, like I said we'll weave our way in and out because a lot of this is uh, blocks off as you can see so it's not access to the uh, the public yeah, you see all the uh, the trucks, the transporters, the cranes, everything. Uh, what is going into this? So, like I said, in a couple of weeks, this is going to be turned in to a wonderland. Uh, I know a few of my followers are coming down for Christmas, which will be fantastic for them to see this. Like I said, it's uh, it's only in a couple of weeks, and that artificial uh, snow as well. How amazing is that? I mean, we don't get a lot of snow because we live right next to the sea. So that'll be fantastic uh, for everybody. And you just see that green monster, like I said, the octopus just occupying Blackpool Tower. And these are all the parts of that, uh, that huge ride. Look at that. So it's, uh, like I said, there's some, uh, some work got to be carried out with this one. Wow. So it's going to stretch our legs and just have a, a bit of a walk next to the, uh, the sea. But you can see that little bit of beach, as I said many a times, that's the last to get covered. And everybody 
just congregates and takes the dogs and have that, that last bit of picnic and the, uh, the last few games on that little stretch. And see the sea is nice and calm this morning. Those lovely blue skies. So it looks like it's going to be a, a bit of a, a cracker of a day today, which makes a change with all the, uh, the rain and the winds we've had of late. And you can see uh, Central Pier just straight ahead. So who remembers that video we did of the, um, the go-kart track, how completely underwater it was by the, uh, the latest storm, Storm Ashley. And that was really bad. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna hop back up that way towards the, uh, the north shore of Blackpool and just have a look, see how it's drained, because it's been you know, about a week and a half since that terrible storm hit. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the Blackpool town center area and go and have a look um, at the go-kart track. Just have a look around the, the north side and just see, you know, if it's uh, completely drained and a, a bit of an update on that one. So all along here, so it sort of stretches right the way, all the way along. This is where the, uh, the stalls will be. And it's an absolute epic uh, time and adventure for you. So all these stalls are going to be start getting erected very, very soon. Like I said, you can see most of it's fenced off now, just near the, uh, the comedy carpet. And uh, what a great, um, what a great event it is. So everything will be in the description in regards to, uh, to this event. And like I said, if you do fancy a, a trip up, if you live in Blackpool or you live close near Blackpool, and you can certainly have a look and come down and visit the Christmas market. It's going to be an even bigger and better experience than last year. And could that get any better? So we're going to head up, like I said, towards the, uh, the north side of Blackpool. Go and have a look at that go-kart trap. But yeah, I always like bringing everybody near the sea because it's, it's something magical about the sea this time in the morning with the, the wonderful skies, the colours. And you see yeah, Blackpool Council, the cleaners are out. I've always said, and I always will say, they do an absolutely amazing job. Uh, in and around Blackpool. And as we're just moving out of the, uh, the Christmas by the sea area, you can see uh, all those, they're all uh, lined up there. So all these, they're all wind defense. So it helps towards uh, ease the wind when it's uh, whipping onto the promenade. So you see uh, this sort of stretches all the way along. So you can see how big the Christmas market will be. Uh, so imagine all stalls will be uh, all along there. And like I said, it's, uh, I believe it's from the, uh, the 15th of uh, November right until the 5th of January this year. So it's on for a good, good amount of time. So yeah, we're gonna move on a little further. Like I said, we're gonna go to the, uh, the north side uh, and just have a look at this uh, go-kart track. So just a bit of an update on that. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the Christmas by the sea. So it's certainly a must for uh, coming down like I said it's that winter in Wonderland so yeah so rejoin me um, when we uh, get to the uh, the north side and uh, I'll see you in a few moments so this building is near um, Yates and I've just noticed there's a sign that says or on engraving Feldman's Arcade now did this building used to be an arcade back in its day let me know, because like I said, it's uh, amazing what you do come across. Yeah, that's the, uh, the building, like I said, uh, just above Yates. And like I said, it is amazing what you do come across in Blackpool, what you don't actually notice. I'm just going to pause a second because there's a fantastic old car. Look at this one coming along. There we go. See if we can uh, grab that very quickly. And there it is. So it's not often you see uh, cars like that. Look at that. Wow. So if you've, uh, you've rejoined me and you've kept with the video, 
we're just near the uh, the go-kart track now so what i'm going to do i'm going to pan the camera around to the right because if you remember this was completely underwater and you can see now how uh, how it's drained look at that so that huge pipe uh, i showed you in the other video um, completely drained all this and it was completely underwater this one but you can still see where the uh, the tires are uh, let's have a, a quick look a little bit closer you can see the uh, the damage it caused to the actual track so it's nothing sort of major uh, but you just see in the uh, the far right hand side far left hand side shall i say of the video all those tires just all tossed around but yeah it looks like it's uh, completely drained this one now can just see uh, the people i mean this is a fantastic spot all along the coastline for fishing um, looks like, is he uh, is he opening the gates at this one yeah it looks like there's a gentleman down there with that white van and looks like he's just opened the gates um and maybe he's assessing the damage or uh, he possibly might be uh, doing a bit of cleaning work with this one yeah, but the uh, the views from uh, right at the very top are absolutely stunning so you can just see miles out look at that absolutely amazing views so yeah see so you yeah, having a bit of a chat with somebody a dog walker but it looks like the gates have opened maybe he's going to do a, a bit of a cleanup operation but you can just see all those uh, all those tires like i just mentioned just like tossed to one side where the sea was it gushed in after that uh, that storm So this is the Argentine Casino and courtesy of Blackpool 360. He actually discovered these like uh, sort of cameras in little boxes. Uh, I'll pop a link into his channel because he does some fantastic little videos also. Um, he's also on TikTok. But yeah, there's also another one uh, I've noticed just sort of popped up. So let's see if we can get a bit of a picture. See, there's one there which is uh, straight ahead. I don't know what they are, they're a, a deterrent or something, but you can see, whip the camera around, and there's also another one there, just situated in the corner. And it's a bit sort of tucked out of the way, that one. Yeah, and whether it's just, you know, until the other uh, building work, uh, you see all the scaffolding up, they're doing some building work, but yeah, it's a, I'm not sure if they're, if they're live or if they just, you know, if they get sort of touched by sensors or something, but yeah. Uh, very, uh, I've never seen them before, like I said, I did mention it on a previous video, and it was courtesy of Blackpool 360, who, um, who mentioned those. So yeah, this is Shaftesbury Avenue. So I never do uh, the, sort of the streets around um, this area, because I suppose it's, there's not really much going on, but, you know, there's sort of plenty of little hotels and sort of guest houses and shops and all that around this area. So we'll just have a, a bit of a walk until we get back to the car um, around the, the north side. Because um, things come and go, like I said, houses and the hotels come and go. And, you know, again, you know, back years ago, I'd imagine these sort of streets was uh, really busy with, uh, with hotels and people walking along. And this is Homefield Road. And these would be a fantastic little cafe. I think it's still a cafe. Maybe it's changed hands. These would be a really nice little cafe uh, just along here. And imagine these shops have changed hands, you know, over the uh, over the course of the years. But yeah, I think it was that one there. That white building used to be a little cafe. Uh, looks like it's a it's a teeth whitening place now. But yeah, let me know if you ever ventured uh, along these shops of Homefield Road. And this used to be the uh, Nigel Wilkinson's Quality Meat Specialist. I'm sure I remember that one opened. Yeah, it's amazing how these uh, little shops certainly change hands. So that is the end of the video. So I hope you did enjoy it. Um, if you're new to the channel, you do like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, any comments. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So until next time, take care of yourselves. And it's, uh, it's a bye from me. Bye-bye.